Now it is my honor to introduce Austin Goolsby. As many of you know, Mr. Goolsby serves as the chairman of President Barack Obama's Council of Economic Advisors and is a member of the President's Cabinet. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Austin Goolsby. I think on oil prices, uh, some chunk, probably a significant chunk of the rise of oil prices is due to the rebound of world industrial production and people just using more oil because there's because they're uh, coming back from such a deep downturn. That part of the rise in oil prices isn't all bad. Uh, it has a negative impact on consumer incomes, but to the extent that other countries are buying our goods, uh, and so that's an indirect driving up the price of oil, that part is not as negative. So oil prices is a negative, but thus far, it's not at a magnitude that, that would threaten us with double-dip recession. We've gotten a little more resilient to oil price shocks over time. State revenues tend to lag the aggregate economy by 6 to 12 months. So then, over the last 6 to 8 months, we've begun to see a pretty broad-based turnaround in the economy. Not, not that we are recovered, we're a long way from that, but starting to recover. This was the first recession where productivity growth did not slow down, it actually went way up. So during the recession, productivity rose 5.5%, and in some cases almost 6%. That's about almost three times higher than the normal rate of productivity growth. Everybody, when faced with the worst downturn since 1929, Said, we, look, we got to, whatever can be unstrapped and sold, we've got to pull it up, sell it. People are going to have to be laid out. We've got to find every possible way to cut costs. We're shifting, and the president's policy orientation is let's shift to a more broad based recovery. Let's go back to business investment led recovery. Let's follow many of the other advanced countries, have substantially more exports. Let's have an innovation led recovery. If you take the five, the top five drops in the unemployment rate, there are eight states in the top five because there are a couple of ties in there. Number one, biggest drop is Michigan. Number two is Illinois. Number three is Indiana. Also in the top five are Wisconsin and Ohio. And I think one other, a bunch of big industrial states that if I asked you Two years ago, who will be leading the recovery? I doubt you would have said, oh, we'll probably start seeing substantial pickup in the industrial Midwest. Now, the unemployment rates remain high. We've still got a long way to go. But the manufacturing employment is having its best year in almost 15 years. It's a natural outgrowth of a broader-based recovery from 1993 to 2007. So that's 14 years. That's the latest data we have. You know that new firms are both born and, and die at, at high rates. If you take all the jobs lost from the death of those firms and balance them off against all the jobs created by the birth of those firms, new companies add on net 40 million jobs over that 14 years. That's well over 100% of the job creation in the country. So new firms are dramatically growing, and existing companies are, summed over all of them, actually shrinking over that period. So I view these positives as vastly more important than the headwinds we face. I'm heartened by having seven quarters of positive GDP growth. I'm heartened by adding two million jobs in the private sector as part of our transition out of rescue phase and into, into more of a growth mode where the private sector is what leads the, leads the expansion. 